Hi guys, Dr. Robbins here to talk to you a little bit about confidence. Um, most athletes that come to me and tell me that they are lacking in confidence make a couple of mistakes. Um, and those mistakes, by the way, aren't like errors on the field um, or losses. That's not what I'm talking about. The mistakes they make have to do with waiting for others uh, to tell them that they're good or making a team to give them the confidence. Confidence is something you bring into any situation. Um, confidence is an attitude. It's an attitude of knowing that you have strengths, knowing what you're good at, but it's also uh, knowing that you can improve. So you don't have to be the best to have confidence, and I think that's one of the biggest reasons people make a mistake. And they also think they can't be confident if somebody else is better than them. Like, that's something wrong if you say, oh, I'm confident, but yet this other person can beat me. No, no, no. Like, be confident in, again, your abilities. So this is real important. You've got to be able to know your strengths. Um, and so even if you have areas that you need to improve on, it doesn't mean you can't be confident. You just have to be confident in your ability to improve. And then the last thing is, you gotta be able to set aside the comparison to others. Yeah, it's nice to be other people. That's an automatic confidence booster sometimes, but in reality, you're not always going to, and that doesn't mean you shouldn't be confident. So, what should you compare yourself to? Well, your last best performance. Um, if you're working over this time, and especially you know in the off season, this is a time where you set goals for yourself and you start working to improve and you can do stick work drills, footwork drills, speed drills, whatever it is that has to do with your sport specifically, and test yourself and then see the improvements over time. That's how you can see your confidence going up and that's how you can do something to actually your confidence right now. You ever think that maybe you don't push yourself um, or prepare effectively over the summers because, well, then you still have the excuse to not make the running time or there's a reason then why you don't make the team. So my challenge to you right now, if you really want to improve your confidence, um, prepare, you know, over prepare. There's no such thing as over preparing. There is such thing as over training, but if you prepare effectively, um, you won't do that. And what does that mean? That means setting a plan for improving in your running, in your skills, um, whatever it is for your sport that you need. And this is the time to do it. And so don't just do the norm either. You know, it's not just, just going through the motions of it or doing the uh, plan your coaches gave you. It's doing that plan with intensity. It's doing that plan um, with more effort than you ever have. It's doing that plan with certain goals in mind. And so that means, you know, I'm not just going out for a jog, I'm gonna run. It's, I'm not just gonna do some stick work today, I'm gonna include some obstacles. I'm gonna up the ante and I'm really gonna make sure that I'm proud of myself at the end of any uh, training that I do. If you really wanna improve your confidence, you've gotta improve your training. And this is the time to do it, so go ahead and prepare. And here's the real trick to being confident. Well, it might not really be a trick, but here's a simple thing. Stop thinking about it. Stop focusing and trying so hard to be confident and just enjoy your sport. Enjoy training, enjoy what you do. The more you enjoy life, the more your mindset looks at what's good uh, and the easier everything else falls into place. So quit pushing, quit trying, and just start enjoying. Have an awesome summer, enjoy your training, and I'm here with any questions you've got. Take care.